Hey, what's up, guys? This is Mark Bozon with the Nintendo team. And this is Jessica Chobot, hostess with the Mosist. <laughs> we're actually <laughs> doing the first Rewind Theater that's Nintendo themed. Yeah, so today we're actually looking at the Zelda Spirit Tracks trailer that they showed off at GDC just yesterday. Um, so obviously, you know, this is the first trailer we've got, but it's got some cool little tidbits in there for you. As you can see, Link is back. Check him out in his little train. Isn't he cute. so cute? He is cute. <laughs> And there is a 7.9 Fran Mirabella sizzle chest v-neck. Yeah, it does look uh, oddly similar to uh, Fran Mirabella's style. Oh, here we go. Actually, some real pertinent information. Let's hit it. So you can tell here, uh, this is the first train area. I'm going to slow it down. You can see a split in the tracks. And actually, on the top screen, you can tell the route that he's taken. See how it's kind of uh, doing a little ticker? Mm -hmm. So it looks like you can cruise around Hyrule and kind of take different directions without getting lost like you do in the boat uh, in Phantom Hourglass. Um, also, as you can see at the top there, there's uh, a little horn, so we'll watch him uh, blow the little whistle on the plane, on the train, and uh, he's going to scare Oops. away these, I don't know, those, oh, those pig cows? He's going to scare away the, the pig cows, I guess. Now, do you think um, that, I mean, like, later on we're going to talk about this, but, you know, even in Phantom Hourglass, you just shoot at things. Yeah. So, well, there's definitely you know, some more of that, too, here. Why do you think they gave us two options? Um, I think you need to scare away some stuff that are basically just going to be obstacles on the track. We'll move forward to another train area. But then there's obviously some combat stuff here. So yeah. he's cruising around, and you can blow stuff away, but see how they're running around on the track, too? Yeah. So I think it's going to be a little multitasking. Um, one other quick thing. Oh, actually, you can see right there. Let's go right back to it. Uh, that looks like a throttle on the right side of the screen. So it looks like you can actually go forward. You can probably slow things down, go pause, pause and reverse. reverse. Yeah. So you can blow guys away and get rupees, all that good stuff. So the train is a new piece we don't know too much about, but let's get back to something else that uh, obviously is the on foot, which is the most important part of the game, uh, the Zelda adventuring, and they've got some new gadgets for us. So here's the first one you can see. It looks like some kind of like a pinwheel, or uh, I don't know, it's, a, it's yeah, it's like a pinwheel, yeah, leaf yeah. pinwheel. Yeah. So he's just stunned a guy with it. Uh, this guy here is gonna fire and he's gonna use it to shoot back at him and then do a little bit of puzzle solving too, so you can blow the key away. Mm -hmm. um, so that seems pretty cool, but we were also at the tail end of the trailer here. Uh, we'll cruise past that stuff for right now. Uh, you can actually see past the train. We have a boss fight, and the boss fight uses that same thing as well. So a uh, huge two-screen boss fight, just like they had in Phantom Hourglass. Probably the best parts about so this Phantom Hourglass. So probably Glass. your first one. Your first yeah, boss. this is probably your first boss. You can see he's got three hearts, so that would make sense. It's yeah. just like the first boss, maybe the first easy. item. And of course, he's fighting the guy. You're following a little wisp instead of navy, it looks like. There's little sparkles. Yeah. But you shoot the explosives at him and exposes his weak point for massive damage. Of course, this is butt, yep. as usual. <laughs> Let's scroll back, though. One more thing I want to show off on this trailer. Uh, Nintendo actually packed this one with a lot of stuff, which is cool. Uh, we have... No, well, actually, oh, yeah? we scoot ahead to where we had the two enemies at the same time, right there. Yeah. Like, I okay, so... Yeah, this What's is actually, I think this is actually part of the new, uh, another new mechanic. You can see in the bottom left, mm -hmm. um, he actually looks like he had some kind of character icon that he, he was controlling. Yeah. Um, and they show off one specific area here. He's clicking and clicking and dragging, making him attack so and going around the back. So basically that icon, you can go ahead and highlight that and then actually draw a path with your stylus, I'm assuming, of where you want that enemy right, that you're controlling that. to go, yeah, and totally. so you can actually block this other guy in. Right. They also use it too, at the, this is the first introduction of it in the trailers, they show off for um, for a puzzle solving. Mm -hmm. So they click on the guy, you have him run through the fire, you know, because he doesn't get hurt by the fire, and he step, steps on the switch, and Link is all happy and he can run by. So yeah, they're using a lot of different areas here. Uh, he's actually fighting a guy on the top while Link is while Link's attacking, and then as mm -hmm. you were mentioning, click and drag him on over. So yeah, so yeah, so then he's Link attacking. Go ahead and yeah, you go the around back. the back, That's and right. you can double team the guy. So uh, that's pretty much all we have right now. Um, but it's obviously a beautiful, beautiful trailer. It looks a lot like uh, Phantom Hourglass, though. Very, Basically identical. Very, very much so, except so, with the train. Yeah, which now I'm it's on rail Zelda. Can, yeah, customize and all that stuff like we did. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have more coverage on this game very soon. It's confirmed to be a title that's releasing this year. Yep, and we'll see you on the next IGN Rewind.